In this Debaco University video, we're going to attempt to give you some information regarding two spotted spider mites on cannabis plants. All right, let's get into how to identify and control two spotted spider mites on cannabis plants. So first off, the general description of them, and this is kind of gives you an idea what they look like when you zoom in, a little bit more of a zoomed out approach just to show you how small that they are. Uh, they are a type of arachnid, so the term spider is rightfully so, um, as they are related to insects. They are very thin at about 1 1 50th of an inch long, so they are small. Yellow to orange in color with two dark spots, one on each side of their body, which is evident clearly when you are able to zoom in. And a 30x kind of uh, jeweler's loop is recommended so you can be able to zoom in on the plants so you can be able to see or identify them much easier. When heavy infestations occur, webbing on the plants can also be present, which a water mist may help visualize. If you go through and kind of like take a light mist and kind of mist the plants, you might be able to see that fine droplets of water attached to their webs, which will make it easy to identify where they might be located and where you should be spending time scouting and investigating your plants. So that identification, what, is, what are we looking at here? Well, that webbing occurs when high numbers become established. The goal is to first identify them when the leaf uh, flecking initially occurs. And this is kind of what we're talking about. That kind of like initial looks like someone went through and just scraped off tops of the leaves because they are kind of that feeding insect. That's what we're going to notice initially. Positive ID may require that 30x loop, as I mentioned earlier. That lens, if you can get it with an LED, all the better because it really allows you to shine a bright light to a small area to make identification of the plants visually much, much easier. You can also shake the leaves over a piece of clean cardboard to help you detect their presence because they will be knocked off and land on the cardboard. As I mentioned, when they become uh, well established, you get this definitely kind of uh, marking of the leaf surface here, that leaf flecking. Also have that web, and of course this is an advanced stage, Once when they're at much lower numbers, this web will be much thinner and that water mist will help you visualize that. So how do you go about managing two-spotted spider mites? Well, in general, they are very difficult uh, to manage. Uh, so this is want to be mindful of being very preventative and limiting their numbers as much as you can. Certain species of lady beetles uh, and predatory mites naturally control two-spotted two spider mites, at least when they're present in low numbers. And that speaks again to the importance of keeping spider mite numbers as low as possible. Using long-lasting uh, pesticides like biethrin or prethrins uh, kill natural enemies and should be avoided and encourage the natural enemies to help regulate the population. If you're using soaps or horticultural oils that show some effectiveness to ensure greater efficiency, be sure to apply them to the underside of the leaves well. Make sure you're getting a good coating of that uh, and also getting the top sides, but that's usually the easier portion of the plant to get. And also you may need to make repeated applications of these products uh, to get some sort of effective control. But keep scouting for them. Uh, be mindful of any new plant material you bring in because uh, you definitely want to avoid these within your cannabis plants.